Greetings, I'm Demon Eric. And our Illidan is Ardvark! Quickly, and claim its gold! We're back, okay. So I'm playing Jaina, this is my first time with her, so expect some fail. I don't know why I'm in the middle lane, it seems like a bad idea, as you go top or something. Sounds good. Something is not middle lane. I've got a deep float quest, so I'm being Bala. Three, two, one, go! And even though I'm pretty sure any kind of burst damage build is better on Bala, I like going auto attack sustain on Bala because it's just fun. Let's get going. Oh great, I get to have a mage duel with Kale, who has probably played his character before. <laughs> So Jaina, Jaina has Frostbolt, which is just a very short duration, like damage dealing ability, single target, like it's the first thing it hits, I guess. She's got Blizzard, which is an AOE, it does two waves, sort of, so like, it takes a second to process, and then it does it twice if something were to stick around in it long enough, of course they don't. And then she has Cone of Cold, which is, guess what, it's a cone, and it chills targets. Actually, everything she does chills targets, it slows them, sure. and that's kind of cool. But she has no escape other than slowing everything. She's she's one of the many characters in the used to have wow. sprint column. Wow, Kill, what were you doing? So I won that mage jewel. Because he's an idiot. He he overextended so far. He was like it like wrapped around almost. Sounds good. I forgot that when I'm auto attack Bala, I actually shouldn't be using my abilities too much because it gets very mana mana intensive. Yeah. I don't know what was up with my pronunciation there. Um, we've got a half level lead already. Yeah, it's because I killed Kale. Sucker Kale. Well, also there's currently no one mid. There used to be three people mid. This also means I'm going to back up because I'm scared. <laughs> Kale unboxes with a blizzard, almost dies again. <laughs> Speaking of dying again, you dumbass. Now, I shouldn't say that, that he, they're so fragile, but I mean, why was he coming out with so few hit points with no apparent objective? Um, yeah, that sounds questionable. Because I'm going to be scared as hell once I've taken any damage, because I know I, mean, I have no escape. At some point, if you're that damaged, you need to just hang out by your towers, and yes. yes, they'll be able to push in, but it also means you'll still be getting the experience. As opposed to fighting me with when I had a whole minion wave and he had none. That's yeah. The first time. Yeah, that was fun. This is nice. For once, I'm not soloing my lane, so I can actually just go back when I need to. So often in quick match, it's like. Sometimes in quick match, it feels like only two members of your team understand lanes. Yeah, the ones who were on voice chat. <laughs> Sounds good. If you're not familiar with uh, Heroes of the Storm, or with just like pretty much any MOBA type game, you've got to be there when things die to collect the XP. So, in At least Heroes of the Storm, it's all team games. Ow, 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 ow. Fun ow. very much. Yeah. Oh, actually, thank you for hitting me back into the fountain rain. Does everyone like my pretty master skin? Yeah, it's purple. It's very purple. Purple's my favorite color. It's kind of why I bought the Master Skin. <laughs> so are you then annoyed that like the images of Apocalypse for the next like X Men movie is they like change its colors somewhat? Well, it looks uh, a lot less purple and also a lot less like Apocalypse. <laughs> and it, I mean, I don't particularly like the design, but it's not like I was like yeah, you weren't that attached to you weren't that purple. attached to normal Apocalypse. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, he's so pretty in purple. Why did they make him not pretty in purple? He, you know, it, it wasn't one of those things. Yeah, pretty, pretty was never one of his things. <laughs> no, it wasn't one of those things. I'm way more pissed about Gambit. Oh yeah. I, I, I wasn't even the hugest fan of how the last Gambit looked, and then they went like beefier. And I'm like, I do not think of beefy macho looking men when I think of Gambit. No, that is true. Like, and I mean, like, it's not like there's a friggin' shortage of superhero guys that look fine being beefy. Right if, he, if, if, this, if there was, like, Warcraft-style, like, primary stats, right, like, original Dota, 
We're pretty sure Gambit's a dex hero. <laughs> Just like give me the he's one not a strength not hero. you want, god damn it. <laughs> he's obviously not an int hero. <laughs> Despite his cast three <laughs> tendencies. Not not every lady likes the like strong macho men. If you're sure. I live in Asia for a reason. <laughs> I don't know, uh, that sounds like a burn to me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. They are clustered up middle, and that sucks because it's kind of my lane. But it's also awesome because it means they're not in the other lanes to get their experiences. Or their butts. See, this is really a super yes, dumb enough. map to not be you leaning properly in. Yes, yes it is. This is literally the map that rewards laning the most. I'll take care of it. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I will try not to go blink every time I use my my oh, my vault. Oh my god, I didn't explain my abilities at all. I'm sorry, I suck everyone. Um, oh, he's so dead. Morden's getting away. Oh. Ah, just ran right into a flame strike. Um. So as Bella, my trait is basically that I build up something called hatred with my attack. As I get more stacks of it, I let me look to see what it's actually vanilla does, because I buff it so much I forget what the vanilla is. Um, so each stack of hatred um, increases my attack speed and my movement. Um, I tend to take talents that also make it heal me and do more damage. So, that's ah, why I'm bad, 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 stop chasing me. <laughs> uh, okay. My Q is a skill shot arrow, but it's the easiest skill shot in the world because it actually is like a heat seeking skill shot. <laughs> yes. So, you have to shoot it in the general vicinity of someone. You don't have to actually like, aim properly. Okay, I have this problem. It's, I don't know why I have like this bias of like, what I think the ability should be since I've never played this character before, but. Lizard really feels to me like a W, and or sorry, like an E, and it's on W. I keep hitting like cone of cold when I mean the lizard. This is gonna be remarkably weird, and maybe it's a family thing, but I actually have the same problem on Gina. Well, they they do a lot of the time. They do have like certain ways that they like set up abilities. Like there's sort of general. Well, like E is almost always your escape if you have an escape. Q is usually something that you're going to use often. Like, every character often, is different, so it's not always that, but like... And very is... often a line skill shot. Yeah. If you have a line skill shot, it's probably on the Q. Um, anyway, I wasn't actually quite done doing my abilities yeah, yeah. earlier. I suck. Um, my W lets loose a cone of arrows. It literally doesn't do anything other than just damage things in that cone of arrows. Uh, and my E is a vault, which is a short dash. It's my escape. It's pretty good. It's about as good as a non-blink escape is going to be. You can get two stacks of it, but I usually don't. Oh, bad. And, um... You're bringing me through the walls. I shouldn't have gone in with so little health, but it looked like a two-on-one. Yeah. Uh, never trust that on this map. This map is very hidey hole. Yeah. Um, and it's very small, so people can very easily come in from another lane. Yeah. Uh, Vala is another character where both alts are very, very, very valid. Both alts are very viable. Um, because I go auto-attack build, I go for the Reign of Vengeance. Right. Uh, the reason being her strafe... Oh, you're so welcome, Zebo. I just saved our Zeebos, but he's going to run back in. Okay. I have um, to say, I'm loving the lane glare. I like being able to just walk up and explodify a, like, a lane completely. It's pretty sweet. Um, I'll take care of it. Zeebo, don't stand in there. Um, Strafe is very, very good. Um, Strafe lasts a long while, but you just spin and do like AOE damage forever. Uh, yeah. You can get knocked out of it if someone stuns you, it ends. Uh, the reason I don't take it with my auto attack is because my auto attack it literally builds. My first oh, auto attack geez. is shit. My 20th auto attack is death. Yeah, so you're losing all that when you 
So because strength takes so long, it loses half my stacks, which means I become less effective by using my ult. Rain of Vengeance, you literally press it and then continue on. So it just uh, suits my build better. If you're going for a burst damage Nova, you uh, <laughs> burst damage Bala, you should choose your ult based more on the team compositions. Yeah, if you notice they have a whole the bunch of stuns and interrupts, then don't do it. Like, don't do strafe. But if you think you can get off some really good situations for strafe, then go strafe. I have to say I'm glad I took your advice on like just taking the arcane intellect yeah. talent at level four. It Our does seem wonderful. it does seem to be basically unlimited mana. Yeah, it's it, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm pro unlimited mana for me. Oh, I am pro being able to stand there and shoot someone for a while without being targeted because that is what my build excels at. Yep. Who is I that like max health after the enemy that team fight? Bala. Take that being an enemy team. This particular Vala build can actually solo a siege giant camp and heal in the process. Assuming, you know, nice. no one comes in and kills her while she's doing it. There was actually one game in Quick Match where my entire team was wiped, but most of the enemy team was wiped as well. And I was like, ah, I guess I'll go get our siege giants, right? Yeah. And one of my teammates in chat was like, oh my god, Bella, what are you doing? Because I had like one third health when I started the siege giants. Mm -hmm. And then like the second after she typed, she looked, like realized my health was like climbing, climbing, climbing. And she actually <laughs> went back in chat and went like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And I think I was just like, what? Is over. <laughs> Got a good feeling. For now. Who wants to um, capture this most yeah, They're like all alive, but we are three levels up. I tried to turn in before, and I we got the turn in before I managed to turn in, and I have 20 bucks, and I don't like it. Also, this Vala build, if left to its own devices, can solo box. Nice. I, I have ridiculous. The more I can sit there and shoot something, the more I can heal. Yeah, we, we have a lot of damage. Yeah. Oh my god, we have a lot of gems. Yeah. We're, we're just... We're so close to just having it right now. Choose a talent. Let's get going. But yeah, part of my build is my goal is never not be hitting something. The downtime between fights is actually worse for me than just fighting forever. Um, oh my goodness. Right, I don't think I've played this since the Blood of the Bludner. They do have two very tanky heroes, so Blood of the Blood might still be okay for me. I don't think Executioner... Well, it, Executioner works off slow, so it should work off of your killed people, shouldn't it? Um, I would think so. That's that is definitely a slow. I will go Executioner. I am not going that way. <laughs> All right with me. Yeah, kill, kills are sending way worse than me. Makes me glad. If literally one person had helped me with that as the end, he'd be dead. Yeah, we were busy killing everyone else. I was busy trying to see if I could trade him <laughs> with his death laser. I don't think I had enough stacks up though. Ow. I did take a horrendous amount of damage from that, though. Because there's no one alive to do anything about it. Well, as it is. Whatever. <laughs> I am very badly for no heal. No. I'm not shooting. I was down to two stacks because of, like, running to a new location. There's a Kale behind us. Yeah, that's not good. That he's an idiot. It's not good for him if he's gonna run into our entire team from the wrong side of base. Ow! I'm ow. I'm gonna turn in my butts. <laughs> Keep him busy! I've got enough for the wave. Uh, 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 Defend with 
really pretty bad for us when our Murad isn't dead, because... Because he's our non-damage dealer. Let's get going. He's all of our He's, he's our damage receiver. He's our yeah. designated victim. AKA tank. I at least fall back until I get there. <laughs> So I'll stand in the Phoenix. Phoenix. Uh, is unnecessary. If you're sure. Where is Kale going? Hi, Kale. Hi, boy. Yeah, Kale doesn't seem to be aware that he should be completely afraid of everything, like I am. Kale just tried to 1v1 me, and I didn't even have half stacks. And I messed him up. Uh, he messed me up pretty good. I was at, you know, 7th of my health. But I wasn't worried about dying, and he should have been. Oh my god, is Morden gonna get away with that? As if. Well, he is Morden. Getting away with shit is kinda what he does. Yeah, he didn't do anything. <laughs> he just walked away. Yeah. That's kinda what he does. I am slowly making my way to you. Yeah. I kinda had to go across the entire Kale's back up. Rainer's back up. Kale's welcome to be back up. Otherwise, we've just been feeding like mad. Although, I guess we could do with less Phoenix. Oh, was that you causing, um. Vulnerable? Yeah. Yeah, I do that. Alright. I figured that was a good talent, and since I looked at the talents beforehand, I figured I should take the wider cone just for the combos with that, because. I wasn't sure to take that level anyway. I will say I was very happy to see it pop up. I was like, do we got this? And then I saw him vulnerable, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna melt your face. So at 20 on this build, I take Nexus Frenzy, because it increases my attack speed and range, which I already have an attack speed boost. Yeah, so I'm gonna call this a GG moment. <laughs> good golly game? Oh, good. Oh, I thought you even got my news right now. With your life. Screw you. Yeah. You we... almost had to bleep me there, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, that was, I have a 100% win rate with Jaina now. I should probably just stop playing her. <laughs> Actually, I think I have a 100% win rate with Thrall. Yeah. For the same reason. <laughs> yeah, I do not. I was not able to get that first win with Thrall. <laughs> I only died once. I will say that a large part of it is because their kale was just like feeding us. That's yeah, what I, that's what I feel like. Look at eight deaths, uh, but it, it's not just the eight deaths. It's because he he had two deaths really early on when the XP made a gigantic difference. Well, the thing is, it wasn't even the XP from the deaths. It's the fact that he was alone in his lane. Yeah. So suddenly they're losing like a tower's worth of experience. Yeah, it's, from it's, the lane minions. it's a huge swing. We get XP for killing him. They lose so much XP for not having someone there. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a that was a good game. And, uh, uh, if you have any particular heroes you want to see us play, make a request in the comments, and I'll do my best. And I won't. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Bye. Click that like button like a naughty, naughty treasure goblin.